Hey everyone, can you guess where I am? I'll tell you, I'm self-isolated out here. But there's Mandy. Yes, that's right guys, we're out at a farm. And not just any farm, the Fur Trade Farm. Fur Trade Farm, Fur Trade Farm, Fur Trade Farm. Fur Trade Farm. Oh, it's nice to be out here, guys. Beautiful day, a little on the windy side, so sorry about that if you guys can hear it. But you know what? Mandy has a signal. Let's go see what it is. She found herself a square now, but I'll tell you, that's a good sign in an old field like this. At least it's something old. Hey, Mr. Bird, you okay? Beautiful colors. Well guys, I had a very iffy signal and it looks like I found probably off an old wooden milk bucket or something. That would have been the side latch that uh, the handle went through. I might be wrong, but uh, yeah, hey, better than nothing. Well, guys, I had a half-decent signal underneath this bush. Dang, that's a big spike. Awesome. Wonder what that would have been off of. Well, guys, Mandy had a decent signal. Turned out to be an old tractor bolt. Better than nothing. Right now, I want to show you guys a little something. You ready for this? Fur Trade Farm, you've seen us here many times before. Right over there is where Aqua Chigger and I did the electric fence challenge. This is the corner of the lot. But if you come in here, we don't have access to it yet, but we're hoping. Do you guys see that clearing? That is the Huron Village. That's the clearing it's in. Now, unfortunately, it's on somebody else's property. But uh, we're going to see about if we can get permission to go on there at a later date. I don't want to knock on the door during the uh, outbreak or anything and freak people out. But yeah, that clearing is the Huron Village for the Fur Trade Farm. Now they would have had a path that would have come all the way out here, linking to the main road, which we believe ran at the edge of the property here and up. There's an old roadway on the other side of that tree line where I've detected before, and that's actually where I found the trade axe. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Hopefully, we can get into that clearing soon. Check it out, guys. Mandy found a piece of horseshoe. Luck's starting to come in now. So I had a decent signal. Flip the plug, and wouldn't you know. Check that out, guys. This might be the find of the day, besides Mandy's square nails. Oh guys, do you see it? That might be a coin. Let's check it out together. Ooh, it is, I think. I see a queen. It's a quarter. And it's 76. So it's nothing cool. Just a regular old quarter. But hey, coin's a coin. Well guys, we're back home. I know you can't tell now, but it got really dark, really cloudy, really windy, and we got rained out. So, we came home, the weather cleared up a bit, but we're not heading back. So, we're just gonna do the wrap up. Check it out guys. We were only out there for about an hour. We found a lot of junk, a lot of pieces of wire. Half horseshoe. You guys have seen it. It's all the good stuff. Got some good square nails. Got the quarter. Not too bad, but nothing to brag about. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you for sticking around and watching another metal detecting adventure. I know they're few and far in between with this uh, self-isolation that's going on. There's not too many places I can get out to to detect, but I'll do what I can to continue to bring you guys great content. And as always, if you died today and don't know if you go to heaven, up in one of these corners, there's going to be a link for you to click so you can find out and know for sure. Until the next video, happy hunting and God bless.